Hello, Power One. Welcome to your reading. So this will be, do they take this connection serious? So let's see. Does your person take this connection serious? Does power one person take the connection serious with the ten of swords <laughs> for the first card? I definitely felt like for this part, I feel like they stay up late at night or they astral travel to you or there's something to do with the sleep room. I really feel like this person, when you guys go through separation periods, they really, really miss you and they really, really wanna, they really, really wanna see you and they really, really wanna spend time with you. And the blockage could be different reasons. You guys know better than I do, but I really feel like this person misses you a lot at nighttime with a night card in reverse. So does this person take this connection serious? Yes, they take this connection pretty serious. They do take this connection really serious. To be thinking about this connection late at night, to be astral traveling to you, to be tele like telepathically trying to communicate with you, to be thinking of you, wanting you, like while they're in bed late at night. I feel like this person definitely doesn't want any other company. They don't want company. And if they do, yeah. King of Swords. This person doesn't have any other options. They might have just recently cut off all their options. The person is really, really serious when it comes to you, Pile One. They don't have any other options. I feel like for this probably cut off all of their options to someone who wants to be faithful to you. We have the King of Pentacles and the King of Swords. So are they serious about this connection? Definitely. They're working on like stability right now. They're working on how to ground this relationship. So you guys could go through long separation periods because they're working, they're saving, they're doing something with the King of Swords and the King of Pentacles. They're definitely doing something logically, practical, like they're trying to go about this relationship in a logical, practical way. So yeah, they're they're serious about this connection, Paul One, if you've been wondering. I think it keeps them up late at night a lot. Six of Cups in reverse. Yeah, this connection keeps them up a lot because the Six of Cups could also be like somebody missing you this could be a past person don't have to be it could just be this person misses you and you guys are going through separation periods like short separation periods or long separation periods but i definitely feel like with the six of cups this is someone who you guys could be possibly on and off or this person just really 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 like misses you and i think with the six of cups in reverse they don't have enough time to express how much they miss you or they don't have the right words to express how much they miss you like this person is working on communication and is working like this person is working probably one they're working on better communication and they're working on better finances for the two of you guys two of swords in reverse definitely working on better communication five of cups i saw the five of cups when i first started shuffling I can't remember if it was in reverse or not but it's coming up upright so they definitely have some heavy feelings about the connection you got the ten of cups at the top of the deck so i need to say i don't even say too much with the ten of cups they definitely take this relationship serious and they have a lot of emotions involved they miss you they really really want this with the five of cups i really feel like it's not any regrets here it's just they really really want this and they're trying like i, I think the five of cups is like they're really trying to like make time for you because this looks like somebody who's like trying to see what's left in the cup so they could have a lot on their plate with the king of swords and the king of pentacles energy they could also be earth sign or air sign or highly placement in their chart don't have to be but i'm just kidding they're really heavily focused on what they can give to you what they can give to you and what they can give to the connection with the five of cups because they don't want to come half empty if that makes sense because this person could be exhausted with the ten of swords is also giving me exhaustion where all they do is sleep and work all they have time for right now is to sleep and work on themselves like this person exhausts themselves with the ten of cups they definitely miss you and they definitely love you seven of cups in reverse they definitely know what they want 
even if this person was like recently confused about what they want i feel like they went through something with the ten of swords that revealed their feelings for you so they're not in the seven of cups energy anymore king of torches definitely giving me like they have they probably can't take as much action as they want to take right now because they're literally physically exhausted mentally exhausted Ten of torches in reverse judgment so yeah they take this relationship serious they don't have any other options but the seven of cups in reverse is also giving me clarification on them not having any other options they're working on making a priority because they really really love you they have genuine true feelings with the ten of cups i definitely feel like their angels reveal something with the judgment about their feelings for you and how they can go about it because they definitely been getting dreams lately with the ten of swords and the ten of cups and all these cups here i feel like they've been getting like dreams revelations or like future like visions about the future that they want to have for you so this, this person's planning something with the king of swords and king of pentacles this is someone who's planning for the two of you guys with the ten of cups they have you in mind so that's what i have for you um pal one if it did help and it did resonate please like comment subscribe and i'll see you in my next post hello pal two welcome to your reading so this will be does this person take this connection serious let's see i just saw the ace of pentacles i feel like a lot of these piles they're taking they let's see though let's see Do they take how to serious the connection? Are they taking the connection serious? The person on how to is mine. Are they taking the connection serious, spirit? I'm gonna shuffle over here just in case like nudity pops out because they've been. Hold on. We got the Queen of Wands for if they take it serious. Queen of Wands. And we got the Temperance. You could be a fire sign, don't have to be. There's someone who's very sexually attracted to you, very physically attracted to you. They could even be obsessed with the sex. They could be obsessed with you. you got King of Pentacles. But do they take you serious? It could be an earth and a fire sign. Definitely could be fire sign energy here. You guys have fire placements with the Knight of Wands. No, this is Knight of Pentacles. Well, I did say that. Knight of Pentacles and Knight of Wands underneath it. Uh, so this is like one of those piles where this person wants sexual gain for them helping you out financially. <laughs> this is my power. This person wants to give to you and get sexual favors in return yeah so this is definitely someone who wants to trick off on you yeah this is someone who wants to trick off on you they don't have a problem with tricking off on you that is not an issue the king of pentacles and the queen of wands that's not an issue this person knows what they want as soon as you saw, as soon as this person saw you, they already knew what they wanted. They already knew what they like wanted and what they were like. I heard something recently where it's like a guy is not going to approach someone who they feel like they can't afford. And somebody's going to approach you. Well, you can you know guys are going to approach women that they can't afford, but you can tell which guys like which guys can afford you and which guys can't because the guys that can afford you, they're not going to ask you a bunch of questions about where you work, blah blah blah, because they don't care about where you work. They're gonna ask you like they're not even gonna ask you things pertaining to your finances and where you live and blah 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 they might just create conversation but i feel like as soon as person approach you they don't even care about anything that you got going on other than what they want from you like they want physical intimacy from you they want sex they want attention they want this person i feel like yeah they can afford you they already knew though that they can afford you like nothing that you ask for is too much for this person like they're willing to give, like I said. 
Yeah, this person's willing to give you the Seven of Wands. Like, they're not trying to waste no time, honestly. The Seven of Wands, they're not trying to waste no time. They know what they want. You could possibly know what you want. So it's like... Out of the connection. So do they take this relationship seriously? Got the tower. This person could be um, a bit jealous. I'm not gonna lie, talk to. And if they're not jealous right now, I feel like as soon as they get some, they're gonna start acting possessive. Hold on. You guys know how the tower looks. I ain't about to rush to cover the card up, but like I'm just getting from this card. Do they take the, the connection serious? They might not take the connection. Honestly, I'm going to be honest about you. They might not take the connection serious right now. And this is not what they was going for. Like a serious relationship is what is not what was on their mind. They were just willing to like trick off on you and give you, you things and spoil you and stuff like that. Because you look really good. You look nice. You're the queen of wands. Um, you just look sexy. You could wear very revealing clothes, very sexy clothes, see-through clothes, heels, things that make you look very sexy. And like, this person just was like, really, really wants you. And they still want you. They want to keep you. They want to keep this thing going, wherever this connection is at. But with the tower, I feel like, honestly, they weren't or they aren't, they aren't serious about this connection, I'll be honest. They don't, that's not what they're looking for. No, they're not looking for seriousness in this connection, Pao too. But I'm really feeling with the tower, um, they could, sh they have feeling. They're gonna have feelings of like possessiveness, controlling, obsessions, and like they're gonna be very particular about what they want you to wear, how they want you to talk, how they want you to act. Like this is someone who wants you to be like their eye candy. This is someone who wants to show you off. This is someone who's very territorial. The king, of, yeah, so I said that and I looked down. Look what's at the top of the deck. This is someone who's very territorial. This is someone who's very territorial. And this is someone who, even if, if they're not serious right now, I feel like with a the tower, they're going to grow to become pretty serious, or at least they're going to be very ego driven. Eventually, they're going to start to be very ego driven with the king of wands and the tower. yeah this is not a connection that's going to be based off of love so if you're looking for love but honestly with the king of queen of wands i don't even think you're looking for love yourself so this could be why you manifest this person because you're not ready for love you don't want love or whatever it is this person this relationship if you want to keep messing with them or i'm just giving you guys a heads up this person this relationship is going to be based off of like ego driven purposes so this person is going to be wanting to control you wanting to like pop up on you they're gonna want like to go through your phone possibly they're gonna want to control your finances they're gonna want to control you basically they're gonna want to like you're gonna be you're gonna be their item if that makes sense and they're gonna want to keep you keep you tucked away or something like that we have the justice you gotta leave bring your chart don't have to be but yeah this is like giving me like legal like paper documents like this could be marriage this could be whatever, whatever. I just feel like this person, if this person proposes to you, or if they ask you to be their girlfriend, boyfriend, or if this person asks you to be like your hand in marriage, it's to have control. Like this is gonna be ego driven relationship. And you could want that pal too. So this is nothing new to you. Some of you guys are actually glad to hear this, but are they serious about the connection? I feel like they are, but they aren't. They are, but they are, but in a different way. I guess if you guys get me so that's what I have for you if it did help and it did resonate please like comment subscribe and I'll see you in my next post hello pal three welcome to your reading so let's see if this person is serious about you serious about the connection let's see what's going on with this person queen of pentacles already So you could have just started a business, a new job. You could be financially independent right now, or you're making your own money. Whether you live with this person, don't live with this person, it's just you're starting to make your own money. Some type of money, but you're starting to look better. You're spending more, you're putting more effort into your looks. 
like you're spending more money on like makeup outfits i don't know what it is but the queen of pentacles is just giving me that so is this person serious about my power three too many cards we got the universe for this person serious about you this could be a fixed sign you're dealing with or they have fixed placements in their chart or you do you guys could both be fixed signs fixed sun sign or the person you're dealing with has a bunch of fixed signs fixed moon fixed sun fixed ri um, rising so are they serious I feel like this person finds you to be lovely. I'm gonna just get that right off with the Queen of Pentacles and the Universe card. This person definitely finds you to be lovely. They find you to be very beautiful. They find you to have many options in life. They find you to have many options in finances. They find you to be like, you have it all. It's how they see you, how they view you. You know, the death could definitely be dealing with a Scorpio. Or two Scorpios dealing with each other or Scorpio something because I was getting fixed sign but don't have to be <laughs> it's definitely someone who's really really interested in you first off definitely interested in you you definitely spark their interest everything I feel like this is someone you keep running into possibly or you guys ran to each other a couple of times or whatever it is like they just are really really into you pal three they find you to be very, very beautiful. This person could actually find you to be too attractive for them. Like they could see, they could view you as out of their league. But with the death in the universe, it's kind of like the same thing. New beginning and then a death for a new beginning. You get what I'm saying? So a death is really a re- Like the death is really a new beginning. So these are like basically the same cards. The meaning is the same. Mm. And you guys could be on, uh, let's see. What, is this person serious about my pile three? Princess of Pentacles. Some of you guys, <laughs> I don't wanna say it. But she's pregnant. So this person could want to get you pregnant. Or you'll eventually be pregnant. Or you're pregnant right now. Or you could be a mother. Like you have kids outside of them. But also you could end up having their kid as well. So are they serious about the connection though? Cause somebody, some people can want to get you pregnant, but not be serious about the connection. Not be serious about you. you. Got seven of cups. Honestly, I feel like these. You, if you get pregnant, this might be one of your blessings in disguise. Look at the seven of cups. So this could be one of your many blessings that's coming in from the universe. Is this new baby from this person? Yeah, we got the star. Aquarius energy is here. I just feel like this is going to be a time where you're going, you went through a lot of healing, you're going through it, like this baby's going to make you, I don't know what it is, but I'm just getting heavy pregnancy because she's nude in most of these. She's cleansing her body, like almost like her body's going through a rebirth. So some of you guys might get, might have just gotten, with the Queen of Pentacles, some of you guys might have just gotten plastic surgery or you guys could be working out or you guys are eating better. Like you guys are more consciously aware of your looks, like I was pointing out in the beginning, but I'm also getting, it could be like, a new pregnancy something something with pregnancy something a new business but also a new baby so for some of you guys you have a bunch of blessings coming in and i think this relationship with this person is a blessing in disguise because i'm honestly feeling like you guys could just it's not really giving me if it's if this person's serious or not but honestly if they want to get you pregnant it could be kind of some kind of seriousness to it obviously they want to get you pregnant 
So honestly, why I can't pick up on if they're serious or not, this person could be serious. For some of you, I think it's half and half. Some of you guys, it's just, for, for some of you guys, it's just, they want to get you pregnant because this person could just possibly want to have a baby with you and they feel like you're the great, you're the queen of pentacles again. Wait, no. Yeah, queen of pentacles again at the top of the deck. It's half and half because I feel like this person is serious about you, but they're not willing to tell you. They're just willing to get you pregnant and then they're going to show you all these like, uh, I don't want to say controlling because it's not, I'm not getting a controlling energy from them at all because I don't see the devil. I don't see nothing. I just see that this person, you guys possibly are just figuring things out. Cause we got the squirrels here too. It's giving me like playful energy. So honestly, you guys could both be in this playful, playful like energy, good energy, good vibes. Like you guys aren't into controlling each other, but I feel like this baby is gonna make things, put things into a more practical perspective. Cause we got the seven of cups. So you guys are definitely just enjoying each other's company. I feel like this could definitely be friends with benefits or it could be your boyfriend as well. But I just feel like you guys are just not into I just feel like this person, it's like whatever to this person, like it's whatever. If you get pregnant, we'll figure it out. If you want to do this, we'll figure it out. If you want more, we'll figure it out. It's kind of like you guys are in this like really like youthful energy of just trying to figure things out together. I really feel like this is the, is this is the power where you guys are growing together. Yeah, so it's kind of getting with the universe and the death card. You guys are definitely growing together, like helping each other grow, helping each other figure out things. Helping each other face each other's fears and stuff like that. Face traumas with a star card. Go inside self. Like this is someone who wants to help you. This is someone who's not. This is someone who wants to help you and watch you grow. Like they want to watch you grow. This could be why she's pregnant as well. Because they want to watch you grow. The Queen of Pentacles. Some of you guys, you have a daughter in this pile and you'll have another daughter by this person or you are going to have a daughter by this person because the kind of pentacles and the prince of pentacles give me like a baby girl. Earth sign mother, earth sign baby possibly, but don't have to be. It could just be you're going to have this baby. At a, it's going to be a blessing, like basically. And the baby's going to make you more practical. It's going to help you. This, this pregnancy might even help you with your business. Your kids, nine of torches. So are they serious about you? Nine of torches, eight of pentacles. Yeah. I feel like this relationship has potential. Queen of cups in reverse. Queen of torches in reverse. This person, are they serious? I feel like they are, but they're trying to figure out if you're serious. I don't know. It's a lot. I honestly feel like they're just trying to open you up because we got the Queen of Cups in reverse and the Queen of Torches in reverse. That's definitely someone who's not really open as you would like to be, maybe because of your past with the Nine of Torches. But I feel like they're trying to work it out with you. Yeah, the star you're going. This person's your healer, I think. That's what it is. This person's your healer or they're healing you. Yeah, this person's your healer. Even though you're, you're a healer, every healer needs a healer. And I think this is like your gift from the divine. This person's a gift. So are they serious about you? I feel like the best I can say, Paul two, I mean, Paul three, is that this is your healer. This is someone who's gonna come in and help you. Possibly financially, possibly with your goals, possibly help you with whatever you're healing. And getting through with the death in the stars. So that's what I have for you, Pile 3. If it did help and it did resonate, please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in my next post. Hello, Pile 4. Welcome to your reading. So this will be, is this person, does this person take the connection serious? Let's see. Does this person take the connection serious with Pile 4? 
does this person take the connection serious? Does this person take the connection serious and call for spirit? Got the eight of cups for the first card. Yeah, it's supposed to take it serious. Cause look what we got at, look what we got at the top of the deck. Ace of Wands. You could have been drawn to another pile. Yeah. This pile specifically, you could have been drawn to multiple piles. But I think the one you were drawn to the most was um pile three as well. But you could have been drawn to like some of you guys, all of them. But for some of you guys, specifically three and four is connected. But this is like a different energy. I honestly feel like this is definitely, if some of you guys are just specifically drawn to power four, it's a reason for that because I think there's different messages specifically for power four because it's like a different energy. This person is more open to expressing their feelings even though the feminine here, you're not really comfortable with expressing your feelings. This person is very open and honest about their feelings. They're not really scared of rejection. They're not scared of like failing with you. They're not scared of like, this is someone who's gonna actually take that risk whether or not you're showing them affection, attention, love completely. This is someone who's just going to go for it because they really, really want you. With the Ace of Wands, this is someone who really, really wants you. This could be somebody who's very, very mature. They could also be older than you. They could have a beard as well. This could be somebody who's very like um, muscular or they have a fit body. They could work out. They could play sports. Or for some of you guys, they were like they are a retired athlete or they are athlete right now for some type of like sport in college or they just like sports or something like that. They're really, really athletic. They have an athletic body. They have a really, really great mind. They have a really, really great spirit and open mind and open spirit. And they're really, really open to like you. Like this is someone very like, they feel very connected and drawn to you since day one, since they first ran into you. And they kind of, I feel like this is someone who could be an empath as well. Pal for this person could be an empath and they could pick up on your your want for love, but you're not, it's like your body physically is not letting you love or your mind is not letting you love. It's like you're, they could see like you want love or you're, you're craving love and intimacy, but you're not willing to be open. So you could definitely have a blocked heart chakra in this pile or you need to work on chakra healing and stuff like that on self-love, you need to work on self-love. Even if some of you guys, I'm hearing some of you guys like, oh my God, I already feel confident. I already did a bunch of self-love things for like months and stuff like that. I really feel like this person's like you still, this person's going to actually take you to another level of self-love, another peak. Because like, I feel like in life, people think like, oh, like when am I going to get to the point where I'm like all the way confident in myself? When am I going to get to the point where I'm like, I love myself completely? But I feel like the self-love journey is like for like all the time. Like it's just years of like, you developing more self-love for yourself and more compassion and you just have to love yourself through your mistakes throughout life because everybody's going to make mistakes all the time nobody's perfect so it's like you have to be willing to be open to love yourself unconditionally through those mistakes of like life and making choices that aren't too good for you and like falling to temptation sometimes we can you know carry self-hate that we don't even know that we have for ourselves because we fall to temptation or we do something that we know wasn't good for us and we know like our intuition could tell us like that person's not good for you or that substance isn't good for you or doing that you know it's not good for you it's not your your higher self is not drawing you to that it's just more of like your desires and i feel like we can carry subconscious self-hate for ourselves if we don't learn to love ourselves unconditionally even though we fall to temptations even though we fall to our ego sometimes and our ego can like really destruct us if we don't know how to control our dick our dark angels our ego and our desires we can lose out on love we can lose out on good people we can lose out on good opportunities if we don't you know so i feel like that's just what life is about it's about failing but i feel like this person is going to kind of teach you to just love yourself no matter how many mistakes you make no matter how like it doesn't matter because this person sees you as like i want to say the empress even though the empress didn't come out yet got a knife with a death card under 
A lot of people are dealing with Scorpios. Don't have to be a Scorpio though. It could definitely be any sign or they have a Scorpio on their plant in their chart. So are they serious about the connection? Yeah. This person's pretty serious. Really, really serious. <laughs> For some of you guys, they want to see if this baby is going to open up your heart chakra. You could have told this person already that you don't want a baby or you're not ready for a baby right now or you're too young for a baby because this person could definitely be older than you and you could be younger and you're not ready for a baby right now so that could be a bit of conflict with the eight of cups in your connection because some of you guys are too young for a baby seven of cups you could be this person's temptation honestly you're something that they fall weak for. Look at how he looks in the Eight of Cups. So for some of you guys, they already knew you were going to be their weakness. They already knew you were going to be their weakness. For some of you guys, you could be doing candle magic on them or they're doing candle magic on you. Some of you guys, they don't even know what candle magic is. They just light candles and think of you. It's nothing that serious, but it could still create spells. Some of you guys, a white candle specifically might help lighten the connection, lighten the mood of the connection. Because I feel like this, what this person is ready for, you might not be ready for right now, Pal for. Got the high priestess, so Pisces energy is here. Or just secrecy. This person could feel like you're a liar or you're hiding things. This person knows you're hiding things. If this is a water sign or somebody that's an empath, they know that you're lying and hiding things. And they could know, they could possibly, yeah, they're, if they're empath, they know that you're non-committal. But they could know that you're not entirely good for them. It's just they want to make you good for them. You guys, everybody's been there where you kind of want to change a person. Not even change a person, but you kind of wish you want them. You want you're so in love with somebody that you don't want to change the person. You just hope and wish that they'll change on their own one day. And that could be like that wish that type of like love. Whew. So I feel like this person loves you powerful. Five of Swords. But you could be... Some of you guys, you could be cheating on this person. Or they know you're cheating on them. Or they know you will cheat on them. They could really, really love your back dimples. Oh my gosh. They really, really love when you wear like open back shirts, open dress dresses that have your back showing. This person loves your back. You could have been recently doing like back workouts or like side workout something to tone your back your curves or you could just been working out recently and they can see they can tell you're already getting results you could you have a very beautiful back a very toned back so definitely some of you guys are like working out working doing at home workouts on your back or going to the gym and doing like back workout lower back workouts because they like your lower back specifically where that curve is they like your whole bag, but some of you guys got back dimple piercings. They love it. Some of you guys, if they saw your back dimples, whether you have piercings or not, they already knew you were going to be trouble. <laughs> they already knew you were going to be trouble by your outfits. Because this person is an empath, but I just feel like this person is like... person wishful thinks a lot with the high priestess you could have a cat too some of you guys they could be scared of your cat or some of you guys you they just know you have a cat you told them about your cat or when you guys were on the phone recently they heard your cat meowing in the background or something three of swords yeah 
some of you guys are probably cheating on this person or thinking about it or have other options or you're entertaining other options probably not cheating all the way on this person for some of you guys you could be texting other options i don't know three of swords definitely give me infidelity though but i'm getting more so it's like on the viewer's part because the eight of cups is giving this person is serious about you For some of you guys specifically, Pal 4, they have other people in their ear telling them that you're not good for them and that they already know how this scenario is gonna play out. So like there's people in their ear, whether it's an ex, whether it's a feminine friend, whether it's their, ma their male friends, whether it's their family members, whether it's like they went to a girl, like a, a friend of the opposite sex wanting advice or needing advice they told them straight up like these are all red flags possibly somebody there are sort of also be somebody just is getting in your person's ear about these are all red flags that this person is doing so why would you want to commit to this person why would you want to get them pregnant why would you even play around why would you even dance with the devil basically look why would you dance with the devil why would you dance with the devil like that death you could also have a little temper problem. Even though you like to play victim for some of you guys or you like to play innocent. We got the nine of swords with another cat. You could have two cats or you wanna get two cats or you just wanna get a cat here. But then we got the seven of swords. Yeah, this person definitely going to, with the flowers and the pinnacle on the back, this person definitely wants to give you everything. But you could be, with the horse in the back, you could just want your freedom for whatever reason. But are they serious about you, Pal 4? Yes, they're serious about you. So I'm going to close the reading out here. I don't want to drag it. If it did help and it did resonate, please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you on my next post.